हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट हंड्रेड इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड टुडे आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द अल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन एंड अल्जेब्रिक स्टेटमेंट ओके नाउ एवरीवन दिस टॉपिक इज़ वेरी इजी जस्ट ओनली इट इन्वॉल्व्स द लेटर सो सम स्टूडेंट्स फाइंड लिटिल कन्फ्यूजन इन दिस लेसन एवरी वन आई ट्राई टू मेक इट वेरी ईजी फॉर यू होप यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इट सो वॉट इज़ द एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन एल्जेब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन इज any expression having some variable and constant okay variable and constant is called the algebraic expression for example if you see y is equal to 3x plus 1 here what all the letters i have used x and y so this is called variable and if you see there are some fixed numbers also like 3 and 1 so these numbers are called constants okay and operation here i have taken plus and multiplication so what is algebraic expression any expression having some variables and constant is called algebraic expression you can take any example for example here y is equal to 6x to the power 2 plus 4x plus 1 anything you can write so if it involves any letter or variable then it is called algebraic expression okay if it has only the real numbers for example if i write 3 multiply 4 plus 7 minus 9 divided by 3 so this it has no variable so this is called numerical expression it is not an algebraic expression it is numerical expression okay now let's talk about variable and constant in detail what is variable variable means you can see the word it reminds you about the very familiar word vary so vary means to change or which can change so what is variable any letter whose value can be changed is called variable for example y is equal to 4x plus 1 so here you can see we can change the value of y we can change the value of x so they are called variables or you can say whatever independent and dependent it is called variable okay now next is constant on the opposite hand it is constant means whose value cannot be changed means whose value is fixed for example any real number positive negative anything it is called constant now in higher classes you will study about two types of constants first will be the fixed constant fixed constant constant means any real number whose value is fixed for example in any calculation if i say 4 so 4 means it is 4 its value cannot be changed you cannot say that let's assume 4 as 5 you cannot do this so this is a fixed value so this is called fixed constants on the other hand if you can change the value of the constant then it is called variable constant means like any letter for example if i write here y is equal to ax plus b now no doubt x is independent variable y is dependent variable but a and b are the constants we can change their values that's what they are called variable constant but they will be constants okay so in any particular question in higher grades especially it will be mentioned that what is variable and what is constant there to be taken okay now before writing the statements algebraic statements it's very important to understand some important words what operation you will use for the particular given words for example here let's start with plus so what all the important words we are going to use with plus some are some words are very common like more than greater than and whatever word you think that it shows you some positivity it gives you some positivity then this is called plus okay you will make it plus so more than greater than higher than then bigger than then taller than increase increment or additional okay these are some words where we can use plus as the operation or you can say some other words if you can think you can write in the comment also if you can think about any other words for example extra okay so for example if i say i will give you five extra fruits in your basket so whatever you have that number will be added with five also okay now let's talk about some important words used for operation minus okay when you will subtract the things 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेस देन स्मॉलर देन लोअर देन शॉर्टर देन डिक्रीज और डिस्काउंट ओके सो दीज आर द सिंपल वर्ड्स विच विल बी यूज फॉर माइनस फॉर सब्ट्रैक्शन ओके नाउ फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेशन इट्स वेरी कॉमन एंड इट्स वेरी इजी ऑल्सो फॉर मल्टीप्लीकेशन वी यूज द वर्ड टाइम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई से थ्री टाइम्स वाई सो इट मीन्स थ्री मल्टीप्लाई वाई मीन्स थ्री वाई ओके और अनदर वर्ड कैन बी यूज एज ऑफ सो इफ आई से टेन परसेंट ऑफ वन हंड्रेड सो दिस मीन्स टेन परसेंट मीन्स टेन ओवर हंड्रेड Off means multiply 100. Okay, and the last but not the least, this is division. For the when you will use the word when you will use the operation division for what kind of words? When you have to distribute something equally. For example, suppose I have 50 chocolates with me and I want to distribute equally in my class. I have 50 chocolates and there are 10 students. in my class 10 students in my class and i want to give them equal chocolates equal number of chocolates so what i will do i will do 50 divided by 10 and it will be equal to 5 okay so whenever you have to share you have to divide something you have to divide something equally then division process will be used okay hope these words are clear to you because these will be used in the questions now before dealing with the question let's talk about this normally for multiplication and division it's very easy you can multiply or you can divide but when it comes to addition or subtraction especially in the case of subtraction then students become confused with the sentence for example if i say 2 less than y 2 less than y so here you will think okay 2 means 2 less than means minus and y means y so 2 minus y will be the answer but this is wrong why because here you have to check the order also 2 is less than y means whatever value of y you have 2 is subtracted from that value okay so for that you can remember it like this whatever you have after than after than what we have here b so b comes first and whatever you have before than it goes last okay so you can remember like this or you can have your own way also to remember this to memorize this whatever you have here maybe you can have less than so you put here minus or maybe you have here more than then you put here plus okay so if you have minus here means less than for less than you write minus so a less than b so again i am telling you whatever you have after than it goes first and then whatever you have before then it comes last okay if you have more than then it will be plus okay so if a more than b then b plus a or you can say b a plus b okay now here this is very important thing uh, for uh, to tell you if you write a plus b or b plus a both the things are same because it is commutative addition is commutative but if i say a minus b and b minus a then both the things are not same because subtraction is not commutative and students whenever you face any such rule then you just take the simple example okay for example if i say 5 minus 3 its answer will be 2 but if i say 3 minus 5 then its answer will be minus 2 so it means answers are not same so answer is not same it means it is not commutative okay it is not commutative i will discuss all these things in detail with the properties of operations okay there i will i will tell you all types of properties dealing with the operations so so far just you understand one thing that whatever you have after than it goes first and before than it goes last okay let let's practice some questions we have to write the algebraic expressions for the following statements first is seven chocolates more than sam ate so what you will understand here more than more than means plus okay and what i told you after than it comes first 
एंड बिफोर देन इट गोज लास्ट एंड मोर देन मीन्स प्लस ओके सो सेम प्लस सेवन और इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज एनी वेरिएबल फॉर सेम फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर आई हैव यूज अ वेरिएबल एस सो इट्स स्टेटमेंट विल बी एस प्लस सेवन नाउ हेयर यू विल रिमेंबर वन थिंग इफ बाई चांस दे राइट एनी वेरिएबल इन द क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे से सेम एट एक्स चॉकलेट्स सो आंसर विल बी एक्स प्लस सेवन यू विल नॉट टेक एनी अदर वेरिएबल योर सेल बिकॉज हेयर दे हैव मैंशनड वन वेरिएबल इन द क्वेश्चन सो इट इज कंपल्सरी टू टेक दैट वेरिएबल ओनली एंड अदर एग्जाम्पल कैन बी नाइन कैंडीज लेस देन वाई ओके सो लेस देन मीन्स माइनस एंड अगेन वॉट एवर कम्स आफ्टर देन इट गोज फर्स्ट एंड वॉट एवर कम्स बिफोर देन इट गोज लास्ट सो वाई माइनस नाइन ओके नाउ एंड अदर स्टेटमेंट इज टू एंड वन हाफ टाइम्स द नंबर ऑफ मिनट्स स्पेंड ऑन म्यूजिक ओके सो टाइम्स मीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू यूज मल्टीप्लाई टू एंड वन हाफ दिस इज अ मिक्सड फ्रैक्शन सो टू एंड वन हाफ of music so just music or you i have taken here m as the variable so two and a half times of m so this type of statement you will use for multiplication okay now four less than seven times a natural number n now you see here four less than so less than means minus and what i told you after than whatever you have so what you you have seven times then n seven times n so seven n will come first because it is after then and then four goes last here okay so seven multiply n means seven n and minus four this will be the answer for this statement now compulsorily i am telling you this in if you have multiple choice question in exam they will write this also as the option 4 minus 7 n so don't be confused okay whatever they are saying after less after less than whatever they are writing it will be the first expression here they say 7 times so 7 times will be the first and then 4 will go last okay so this is the example for times now extra discount discount what we use what operation we use for the discount minus so first come minus discount of what 2.50 dirham okay 2 dirham 50 fills so 2 dirham 50 fills of what 1/4 cost of the pizza so for pizza i have taken p variable 1/4 1/4 yani 1/4 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 times of p so it will be as the simple ex standard expression you will write 1 over 4 times p minus 2.50 okay so these are some simple examples to understand how to write the algebraic statement for the given conditions you can practice your uh, own questions you can make your own questions yourself and then you can write various statements still you have any problem then you can write in the comment now some other important words related with the algebraic expression these are very simple and important words first is term so what do you mean by a term for example if i write here 3x plus 2y plus 1 okay so you can see i have written some expression and with some terms so here this is first term here this is second term here this is third term if i write 3x y z okay how many terms here do you see it is only one term why because term says that any expression in between any plus or minus sign any expression written in between plus and minus only then it is called a term okay so for example the expression what i wrote just now 3x y z so let's start from 3 so before 3 you don't have anything so after 3 x means in between you have multiplication after x we have y it means multiplication after y we have z it means multiplication okay so nothing is plus or minus in between so how many terms you can see here this is only one term this is only 
one term. There are not four terms in this example. Okay. So for terms, you will compulsorily notice where is plus and where is minus. Now, for example, here you see 5y plus 9a minus 7c plus 6. Now, let's start from 5. So after 5, we have y. What we have to look, what we have to see, we have, we are looking for plus or minus. So let's start from 5 again. After 5, what we have? y. After y, what we have? Plus. So it means this is term 1. Now, after plus again, start counting. This is 9, a, and then we get minus. So it means this is term 2. And after minus, what we have? 7, c, and then we get plus. So this means it is term 3. And the last one is fourth term. Okay, so how many terms do we see in this example? Four terms. Now, like and unlike terms. This is the thing where students normally do the mistakes. For example, many times I have seen in the class that if you ask this question, 3x plus 4x square, even students of higher grade, they do the mistake and then they say 7x to the power 3. Okay, why? Because think before applying any rule. 3 plus 4 is 7, it's okay. But 3 and 4 are not written with the like terms. Okay, so if you see what are the like and unlike terms, terms with the same variable and same power are called like terms. Okay, for example, 3x square plus 4x plus 9y square plus 6y. If I write this example for you, then what you can see here, you can see that there are this 3x square, what is power of x? 2. 9y square, what is power of y? 2. Powers are same, but variable is not same. Here variable is x, here variable is y. So they are unlike terms. Now, here I have taken x, no problem. And here also I have taken x, but variable is same, but power is not same. Because here power is 2 and here power is 1. So powers are different. So what you can understand here, in this example, no term is like term. Okay, so let's consider a few more examples. We have to see the like terms in this example. 5y plus 9y minus 7c plus 6. So here you see 5y and 9y are the like terms. Why? Because they have the same variable y with the same power also. So they are the like terms. Okay. Now, in this example, if you take minus 5y square plus 19y minus 7c plus 6c minus 9. Again, I'm telling you, Variable is same here, y and y, but their powers are different. Here power is 2, here power is 1. So they are not like terms. Okay, so what like terms here we see? We see here minus 7c and plus 6c are the like terms. Now, what next we have? This again very important and easy term, coefficient. What is the meaning of coefficient? A number which is multiplied by the variable x is called coefficient of x okay whenever you will be asked to f write the coefficient or to find the coefficient compulsorily we'll have to mention that coefficient of what you want okay for example if you want to say coefficient of y coefficient of y here so y you see it is y but not power two not power one okay so this is not y this is y square first one. So you will not consider this. You will look the term only where you have y. So this is the term where we have only y. So it's, you can see y is multiplied with 19. So what is the coefficient of y? It is 19. Coefficient of y is 19. So it is positive 19. So no need to mention positive separately. So just 19. But if it is negative, for example, if I say, what is the coefficient of c here? So coefficient of c will be minus 6. Okay, another example. Coefficient of c in this example, 5y square plus 19y minus 1 over 4c minus 9. 
coefficient of c you can see here c is multiplied with minus 1 over 4 so this is the coefficient of c minus 1 over 4 okay everyone hope you understand this concept and you will practice some questions based on this if you have any problem or if you want me to explain it more then you can write in the comment and if you like it then please share like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone